Hi everyone and welcome to dedicate your 30-day yoga journey. It's day eight. Don't hate, meditate, feel great. This is an awesome practice. This is one in which I invite you to pause the video and maybe grab a little blankie or towel, maybe grab a little pillow, any kind of pillow will do. And if you don't have these things, don't worry, but it might be nice to have them for today's extra cozy practice. Light a candle if you like, and let's get started. my friends welcome back let's begin on the ground this is a nice low to the ground practice today so as you get settled in see if you can right away just begin to let go of the day thus far quietly kindly brush away your to-do list anything you have for after this practice and let's see if we can really drop into enjoying, enjoying this beautiful moving meditation today, finding the softness. So we're gonna begin in a nice comfortable seat <clears throat> and I'll invite you right away to just find a little sway, a little softness in the spine. So we often start practice like this when we're doing a session kind of focused on getting unstuck or when we feel like we don't know what to do in a situation. And this is a really beneficial way to approach your practice because it's a really valuable way to approach life. Often when we're met with challenges or we feel stuck, we feel like we have to work harder, push harder. And so today's practice is just a beautiful reminder to Relax, lean in, find the softness, the ease, and allow your movement to be more like a moving meditation rather than muscling through. And then we can take the essence of today's beautiful relaxing practice with us into the more fiery practices that are on the way. But for now, right here, right now, find a gentle sway. And if this is the first time you've ever moved like this in a yoga class or in your life, just notice what comes up, like what resistance, like when you feel kind of silly. Just know that you're not alone and there are probably thousands of people doing this with us right now that feel the same way. So don't let that stop you. Don't let your feeling about something necessarily turn you away from it. See if you can just kind of smile, use all the tools that we've learned together thus far to just kind of lean in, start to integrate the neck a little more and the shoulders. And then we're gonna take this side body stretch that we've been integrating and you're just gonna find a soft, easy lift of the right arm all the way up and then take it over towards the left. Then just like we did on day one, you're gonna find what feels good here, just finding a little bit of movement. It can be pulsing, it can be soft, easy movement. And then in your own time, coming through center, finding your sway, and then taking it to the other side, nice and easy. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back through center, and we'll bring the hands to rest gently on the tops of the thighs and the knees, and take a loving breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, go ahead and breathe out through the mouth. Close your eyes as you're ready, and again, big inhale in through the nose. And allowing yourself to just land here, whatever you're coming with, just being honest about it all, landing here in the moment fully. And one more time, big inhale, nothing fancy, just big breath in. And releasing out through the mouth. Just taking a moment to find stillness here. Noticing where your thoughts go, noticing where you might be clenching or holding and seeing if you can right away start to soften. Be 
Beautiful, then draw the hands together at your heart. Bow the head to the hands. Take a deep breath in, empty it out, and then flutter your eyelashes open. Gently lift the corners of your mouth just slightly. Inner smile goes a long way. Particularly if we find that we're really, we've veered quite a distance far off from like a moving meditation or moving with intention. Just a little inner smile can help remind you like, it's all good. I can't control everything anyway. The only thing I can control is how I move. And then how I move, of course, influences how I feel, et cetera, et cetera. So here we go. So we're gonna uncross the legs, just bring the left heel in just a bit today, and then bring the right foot in to follow. So we were in Sukhasana, this kind of crisscross applesauce situation, and now we're coming into Siddhasana. So it's just one foot in front of the other. So the heel's gonna come in, followed by the right leg, and you're gonna check in here right away. Be honest, is it tight? Do I feel tightness in the hip crease? Do I feel collapsed? Can I do something to improve <laughs> the length in my spine, which is then gonna help me breathe easier? And a great thing to do, since we've all brought a little blanket or towel, is to just lift the hips up a little higher. Oh yeah, baby, now I feel amazing. <laughs> that little lift. And I love the metaphor behind these at-home yoga practices and, and all the yoga practices, to be honest, but it's nothing like kind of setting yourself up like this to just really be an open book, really open, open everything up and find your way to good. Okay, so one foot in front of the other here. You have your hips lifted up perhaps today. We're gonna inhale, send the fingertips behind the ears. So just connecting a little bit to subtle body lines here. As you inhale, reach for the sky. We find that connection of hip to shoulder, shoulder to wrist, wrist to fingertips and beyond, to infinity and beyond. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, melt it all the way down. Send your heart forward. We're coming forward here nice and slow, paying attention to the sensation as we slowly melt it forward. And you're just gonna come onto the forearms to start. And you might find a soft, easy sway here. And then you'll know if it's right in your body to continue the journey on just a bit, maybe bringing the forehead all the way down to the earth. If you have a yoga block, you can grab it now, or sometimes I just like to stack the fists, like bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. Not everyone will get that, and that's okay, but if you do, awesome, we'll play a little bubble gum. And just give yourself a little prop for the forehead to rest on. And then put some weight, just some awareness really in your hips and your thighs and start to breathe deep into your belly. And one little loving mantra I like to start with when I'm doing a moving meditation or just getting down low to find balance, not necessarily embracing a full asana practice. Or I also do some, some other exercise. I always like to start by inhaling lots of love in and exhaling lots of love out. So this is good in a soft, relaxing practice, also really good before a run or anything where you're going to be uniting body and spirit, mind, mental, mental game. I also like to start inhaling lots of love in and exhaling lots of love out whenever I'm saying a prayer. It's just a great place to start. So take it or leave it. Inhaling lots of love in here. And then exhaling lots of love out. Continue to notice where you might be gripping or holding. And just a little grace notice to just bring a little energy into the, to the feet, to the toes. Start to slow down your breath. Soften through the face. And if you were hoping for a workout today, just trust. Trust that everything is as it should be. This is the practice you're supposed to be gifted with today. So lean in. 
perhaps this time today will up your game in tomorrow's practice or in another more fiery practice. And then slowly, we'll again bring awareness to the hips. Let the lower body be heavy as you slowly release. Come all the way back up. Stacking through the spine. Stacking head over heart, heart over pelvis. On your next inhale, reach the shoulders. So lift the shoulders all the way up to the earlobes. Squeeze and lift, breathe in. And exhale, slide shoulder blades down the back body. Awesome. Keep the left heel in. Gently connect to your center even here. It's always moving from a place of connect. Send the left leg out long. <clears throat> We're going to flex. I said left leg. Send the right leg out long. I'm already zen. Zen out. Um, send the left leg. <laughs> send the right leg out long. Sorry, guys. And you're going <clears> to <throat> flex your right toes towards your face and just gently turn, turn, turn so that your heart and your center facing your leg. And if you're on a, a blankie, you might just do a little hoop to shift your hips or your hip support to move with you. Cool. Now take the fingertips, bring them behind the ears. Inhale, find that connect to your center as you reach up. Exhale, think up and over as we dive over towards the right toes. Now wherever the hands lo uh, land is perfectly Beautiful. It can be here on the thigh, it can be here on the shin. Maybe you're grabbing the pant leg. Maybe it's just fingertips. And maybe in time you work to pull that right hip crease back, create more space in the front body and the back body to find a forward fold. Maybe traditionally getting, you know, head to knee. We call this Janus or Sasan head to knee pose. But honor, so important to honor you honor where you're at. And in a lot of ways, that's what this journey is all about. It's like dedicating time with yourself, for yourself, honoring who you are and where you are today. Okay, I'll shut up and allow you to listen to the sound of your breath. Listen to the wisdom of your heart and make sure you're not holding or clenching in the neck here. See if you can soften and relax. A little grace note. A little energy in the toes and the feet. Stick with it, lean in, soften, allow. And then from your foundation, that which is touching the earth here and your energetic body, slowly roll up. Yes. From here, <clears throat> ground down through the sits bones. Inhale, fingertips behind the ears, reach for the sky. From your center, dial all the way over towards the left. Gentle twist to your left. Right hand can come to the outer edge of the left leg. Left fingertips behind and we breathe here. So we're flexing the right foot. We're breathing deep. We're sitting up nice and tall. Working to create a healthy flow of energy that runs up and down the spine. Gently just moving aside anything that might be stuck. Any cobwebs, any you know, stagnant, old things that we just don't need to carry around with us anymore. Cool, and then slowly releasing back to center. We're gonna take the right foot, we're gonna bring it in, we're gonna recenter if we have a blanket. And then we'll switch, take the right heel in, left foot to follow. Check in here, bringing the hips a little bit high so that your knees can fall down. You feel really cozy. And then when you're ready, fingertips behind the ears. Inhale, take the deepest breath you've taken all day as you reach up high. And then exhale, soften into it. Lean into it nice and slow, forearms to the earth. Find a little sway here, gently opening up through the hips. 
And then find what feels good here. Maybe coming all the way down. Maybe bringing the fists together for a prop up for the forehead. And um, depending on what time of year that you are doing this, if you have any sinus pressure, this can be a insanely awesome thing. It shouldn't be so good that something this simple can help you feel um, a clearing out. But this little pressure right in the center of the forehead between the brows. Okay. Find the mantra. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. And don't try to think too hard here. Just allow, feel it out. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Remembering uh, our observe practice. Can I reside in the role of the observer here? Notice if you're clenching anywhere. See if you can soften maybe around the hips energetically, around the ankles, perhaps the shoulders, the traps. Let the weight of your head go for one more breath. And then enjoy this blossoming as you slowly let the hips get heavy and roll it all the way up. Stack through, hands come to the knees or the thighs. And notice how you feel. Amazing. Love for sale, except the love's free. Everything's free. So great, I love it. Okie doke, here we go. Keep your right heel in. Kick your left leg out. And if you need to do a little shift with your blankie, you can. We're gonna turn the torso, the heart space, <clears throat> excuse me, over towards that left foot. Flex the left toes towards your face. When you're ready, big breath in. Fingertips reach behind the ears all the way up. And think up and over as if you're maybe taking your belly over a little beach ball or pillow. Dang it, we have a pillow right here. You can use your pillow. Inhale, reach up and over. And then same thing, any amount that the body, you know, listen to your body. Body talks, we listen. That's the way it goes and that's why regular yoga practice is amazing. Because you can see how that conversation just fluctuates. And then we get out of the doing the yoga and we really create a practice of experiencing and, and listening and responding. So wherever you are today, uh, be there, it's all good. Maybe you need to bend the knee generously to kind of find your way to good here today. And then we allow and we release, we breathe and we let go. Just keep noticing where your thoughts go. And remember this is time that you've dedicated to yourself, for yourself. Trust it, trust the process, trust that it's valuable, trust that you're worth it. Then get really heavy in your bum, heavy in the hips, and nice and slow, super slow. Back to center. Inhale, reach the fingertips behind the ears. And exhale, gentle twist to the right. Oh yeah. Little buddy. He loves day eight. Breathing deep. Inhale, breathe into your belly, your guts your instincts. Cool, and then come all the way back to center. Awesome, okay, so from here, 
We're gonna bring both feet in. We're gonna take the blankie. And we're gonna just bring it to the side. You'll kick your legs out on your mat. <clears throat> and if you brought a pillow to practice, go ahead and grab it now. Okay. So from here, we're gonna take the pillow and it can be a couch pillow, it can be uh, any pillow. Uh, bedroom pillow, you're gonna hug it right up to your sweet belly, right in your hip creases, and then you're gonna take your hands, yeah, baby, and move the fleshy part of the buttocks aside. Feel your sits bones kind of root down into the ground, or maybe not, maybe don't feel them, maybe you won't. And we're just gonna move our nice booties to the side so we can at least visualize this grounding down to lift up through the crown. The Crown. Did you watch The Crown on Netflix? So good, so amazing. If you did, tell me down below, so great. Hug your pillow in towards your body, so squeeze it up. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach the fingertips towards the sky. And then exhale, think up and over as you bend your knees, Paschimottanasana, you're gonna rest your chest and your heart on your pillow, maybe your forehead. You can also bring your blanket or your towel into play and create a little lift so you can relax your forehead down on the ground. Down on your prop. Okay, then in time you can work to straighten your legs. And we're gonna be here for about seven to 10 breaths depending on the rhythm of your breath. So we're gonna let it all go. Breathing into the back body, calming the nervous system, smoothing out any frayed nerves, relieving any tension. Enjoy. So holding this posture, feeling the breath and noticing how the breath can stretch the skin of the back body. And I invite you to find depth here, so don't shortchange yourself. Once you find a nice place to be, stay there for seven to 10 breaths. Relax your tongue and the base of your mouth. Soften through the skin of the face. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. One more quiet breath on your own. And slowly, We'll release, come back up mindfully, enjoy, just melt as you release all the way up. Okay, check it out. We're gonna take the blanket to the side. If you have it, you're gonna take the pillow, bring it to the top of your mat for your head, and then you're gonna bring your blanket or your towel back into play, and it can either fold up or you can roll it up. We're gonna bring it underneath the backs of the legs, the leggies. Heck yeah. Okay, here we go. Come on down to your back. Get situated. Where's my breathing bolster? Come here, breathing bolster. Take a second to get situated here. You're gonna wanna maybe shortchange yourself of this too if you're used to really moving fast and you're a busy person like me, but man, I'm telling you, stick with this, okay? This is part of the commitment. So when you get here, you're going to Allow your toes to just open up just a bit and allow the inner thighs to get a little sunlight. <laughs> hey, oh, I've never said that before. <laughs> you brought that out of me. Okay, and you're gonna get cozy, that's the thing. And we're gonna find stillness by bringing the hands to the rib cage or the belly. And when you feel cozy, you're gonna soften everything. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, close your eyes and begin to find stillness. Now allow your breath to just return to its natural ebb and flow. And enjoy 
a moment of complete and total relaxation. And if you find you're not relaxed, you're distracted, cool, way to be human. Remember, this is just a practice. Do your best. Practice relaxing. Practice being still. And if you're wondering if you're doing it right, the answer, my friend, is yes. Sweet. Now slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle the toes. And slowly we're gonna open up through the left arm, palm face up to the sky. Open up through the right arm, palm face up to the sky. And we'll rotate the wrists and the ankles and start to bring awareness to just the quality of air in the room or wherever you're practicing, maybe outside. Gently begin to deepen your breath and bring your awareness now to the quality of air in your practice space and to the light in the room or wherever you are. And now to any sounds, any noises you can hear. And let everything go. And on your next big inhale, bring the palms together. Thumbs to third eye. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. You are doing an awesome job. I hope that you know and feel that what you're doing for yourself is not only an incredible thing for you and your personal journey, but I think I'm biased, but for the world, right? So thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me. Let us know how today's practice went in the comment section down below. And I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. We're gonna get high tomorrow. Okay, but for now, I love you. Namaste.